Good evening, or I should say good morning, my fellow reptiles. I just cracked out of bed. Today is December 17th, 2011, and I just want to make a short video on uh, an illustration that someone used to me. Now, on my main YouTube page, I have my MrRepsion at gmail.com, which is my email address which I use for contact. If someone has business inquiries or, inquiries, or they need to contact me for some reason, or just to send me an email, I have an email on my main page of YouTube which you can send stuff to. And normally when I receive things in, from that email, I do not respond to people. I read it, I just don't respond. However, I received a email from someone wanting to talk to me about religion because they know that I'm a Christian and they... I, I, I typically try to stay away from discussing religion or even responding to people on my contact email unless I have a valid reason to respond. And I wasn't going to respond to this user. However, he, when I read his uh, email, it kind of struck me he's holding a little bit different view than most people have on religion. And that's kind of what prompted me to respond to him is because I could see through reading his post email that it's not most people I've met don't hold this view, but he does, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So as I was reading this email, nothing really struck out to me until he gave me an illustration of his views on religion. And this is what I'm going to be responding to very briefly and shortly. I don't want to make this a long video. This user also asked to remain anonymous, which is what I'm going to be do. But however, I'm going to do a screen capture right now of his argument, or I should say illustration. Daniel. Think about this illustration I am going to give you about my views on religion. Every religion out there has parts of spiritual truth, but none of us can see the whole truth. This is the illustration. Several blind men were walking along and came upon an elephant that allowed them to touch and feel it. This creature looks long and flexible like a snake, said the first blind man, holding the elephant's trunk. Not at all! It is a thick and round like tree trunk, said the second blind man, feeling the elephant's leg. No, no, no! It's large and flat, said the third blind man, touching the elephant's side. Each blind man could only feel part of the elephant. None could envision the entire elephant, same with regarding the spiritual truths of religion. What this guy is arguing here is that every religion... Christianity, Mormonism, whatever, has bits of truth to it. So no religion has all the truth. Even if they claim to know all the truth, they don't have truth. Even if they claim exclusive claims, they don't have all the truth. But each religion has bits and shreds. Mormonism has some truth to it. Christianity has some spiritual truths to it. Uh, uh, Scientology has some spiritual truth to it. All these religions have bits and truth. And he uses this illustration to kind of try to prove that point. However, this illustration he uses regarding the elephant backfires right back at him. First and foremost, this story, this illustration, is told from the perspective of someone who is not blind. So how exactly can you claim that each blind man only sees part of the elephant unless you claim, you claim, to be able to see the entire elephant? How can you possibly know that no religion sees the entire truth unless you yourself have the superior, full, comprehensive knowledge of spiritual reality that you just claimed no other religions have? Do you guys see my point here and how his illustration fails? If need be, rewatch what I just said. Stop the video, rewind what I just said and replay it again so it makes sense. I realize this was a very short response to his illustration, but what I said is quite valid. How can each blind man only see parts of the elephant when you yourself see the entire elephant? How can you possibly know that no religion can see the whole truth unless you yourself have the superior knowledge and comprehensive m mind of the complete spiritual reality that you just have claimed that no religions have? 
And I repeated my, I just repeated myself twice. And I hope you guys get my point here. That was my quick response to his illustration and how I believe that his illustration he uses here backfires. Is I don't certainly don't believe and disagree that each religion contains little bits of parts of spiritual truths. That said, though, I would like to end the video with a very relevant quote to what this video kind of is dealing with here. There is an appearance of humility in the protestation that the truth is much greater than any of us can grasp. But th if this is used to invalidate all claims to discern the truth is a fact, an arrogant claim to a kind of knowledge which is superior to all, all others, we have to ask, what is the absolute vantage ground from which you claim to be able to relativize all the absolute claims these different scriptures make? Leslie Newabigan. So with that said, my fellow reptiles, thank you for watching. I am Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Sulzbach, and peace the rep out.